Welcome to searchandanalysis.com. In today's video, I will tell you how to use the options of def descriptive statistics and frequencies. Uh, first of all, you should know why to use descriptive statistics in research. Before analyzing your data, you always extract the details of your respondents. Even if you look at the papers, most of the time you will find the information related to your respondents. For instance, this is one of my published paper in which uh, the first table of analysis is demographic analysis. And you can see the details regarding gender, marital status, education, organizational tenure, job tenure, right? And after that, there is like formal analysis. So, well, this is the data we have. Uh, in order to extract the def descriptive statistics, just go to analyze. And here, just go descriptive statistics. And these are the two options, frequencies and descriptives and you can use either of them to uh, extract the descriptive statistics related to your data. Let's first try with frequencies. Let's reset. And here we can just put uh, just demographic variables like first gender. Um, we can also marital status and maybe we can just look education. Okay. And from here, uh, we can go to statistics. And here are like all options we can just uh, calculate. Here are the means, median, more, just standard deviation, variance, range, minimum, maximum. Okay, continue. And if you want to draw some charts, that's also a very good option. Uh, let's go to histogram. Yeah, most of the time we just use histogram. So let's try with histograms and also show the normal curve on histogram. Yes, we want that. Okay, continue and form it is okay. We don't need it. And okay, I guess it is enough. Okay. So this is the output window. And here you can see, uh, first of all, all the frequencies. And this is showing the total respondents uh, in terms of like gender, marital status, and education. All have valid responses. But in case if we have some missing values, that will be that uh, would show here. And here's all the median, mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variances, range. Okay, you can see the range. And then we can see the minimum and maximum value against these three demographic variables. Like uh, in case of gender, we have two options. Here the minimum is one and maximum is two. Marital status, minimum is one and maximum is two. And in case of education, we have minimum two and maximum five because uh, in our data there was no respondent who, who belonged to the category one so that's why we have the minimum value two and maximum five and here we have the web frequencies male and female like here we have 26 male and 14 females in total we have 40 and here's they are given percentages valid percentage and cumulative percentages so it's the same with the marital status and education. And finally, we have histograms related to all these three demographic variables. And this is the normal curve. So this is how also you can use in your thesis or maybe in your research paper as well. So let's try another uh, other option of uh, descriptive statistics. You can also find out all these things uh, in descriptives. But in descriptives, uh, there is no, uh, you can't get the frequencies and also you, you do not have the option of 
uh, chart so these are all let's try it again okay and here we can just click all the options okay orange ah here we go so you can see it's just the same values as being shown here but in descriptors like in this second option uh, you, you will find you can find the information related to minimum maximum mean standard deviation variances but you can't get the frequencies and these these charts I hope you have understand how to use the option of descriptive statistics in analysis. If you will have any further question, you can write in comments. Thanks for watching.